What is up guys, Pro Elite here. Today we're going to be reviewing XSplit Gamecaster. XSplit Gamecaster, sweet program for recording PC gaming, console gaming, all that good stuff. Amazing. Now before we get started, I just want to let you know that for XSplit Gamecaster, you need to have a pretty good graphics card. If you do not have the good graphics card and you have the program already installed, you should have this pop up right under. It's It will say your graphics card does not meet the recommended requirements. The recommended requirements is a Direct 3D 11 level 10.1. If you do not have this type of graphic card, it will automatically adjust itself, no worries. But if you want to have better recordings, better live streaming, I recommend getting a better graphics card. I do not have a good graphics card because I cannot really afford one. But it doesn't matter. Okay, so you could live stream from Twitch, YouTube, other li I think one more live stream, I'm not sure. I'll post it. I'll update it but you could upload straight to YouTube and you could also record your um, console gameplay with a capture card such as Elgato probably the best capture card out there it is, I think, I'm pretty sure it is but whatever you could um, share it on social networks that all programs pretty much come with that and now let's go into settings you could adjust the way you want it to record I recommend automatic this means that it will automatically adjust based on your internet speed stuff like that you could also adjust your record settings put what do you want to record at but I recommend automatic too. You could um talk through live streams, through recordings, microphone like me, my Turtle Beach headset, pretty sweet. You could add a webcam to it, like while you're recording. You could all you could throw in your webcam. You could also do it while you're live streaming. You could throw in your webcam in there, your face cam in the corner. Pretty damn cool. Here we have the BRB, BRB Back Graphics Editor. What this is, it allows you to display a BRB screen, a screen if you're live streaming. For example, if you need to take a break, use the bathroom, you could just pop up a screen there. It'll say BRB mode activated. The stream will continue in a moment. Or you could even clear this and you could even add images. It's pretty cool. As an example, I just threw in one of my pictures from my most recent video, threw it in there. And if you were ever to want to take a break from your live stream, you throw BR the BRB mode on. This this image that you have put here will display and it'll let you know your viewers that you're taking a break. Okay, next, game switching. You could pretty much read this. It's about it's exactly what I'm about to say. You could it means you could switch a game. Like if you want to switch from Minecraft to Call of Duty, you could you could enable that option. If not, then you just unclick it. If you do do it, it'll try to stay on the other tab, but it it will mess up your live stream a little bit. Now on to the recordings tab what this tab is after you're done recording something this is where your um videos your recordings will go it's it's pretty cool pretty handy now you don't have to get stuck up in all the document stuff whatever here we have the um x the gamecaster bar I will zoom in on it. I cannot 
give you an example of rec the recording with it since my computer is pretty darn bad and it will not support this it'll be all choppy it'll just be bad for for this type of stuff All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more great videos. I'll probably be doing another review on XSplit Broadcaster. Stay tuned for that. I'm Pro Elite. Thank you for watching.